your problem, you are a witch doctor from birth. You were born like that. They anointed you before you arrived. That's yes, why you have prophet. problems. You are, you are a witch doctor. Yes, prophet. You are a witch doctor. In the dream, you are on top of the mountain. You are in the forest. Yes. Of the time I saw myself in the forest, I'll be watching. If I'm watching, sometimes I'll see the, the grass are dry, not knowing where I'm going. In 1926, you can go and verify. Yes, prophet. There was a big man, light in complexion like you. Yes, prophet. You know you're decent? You're a bushman. Am I lying? No, prophet. Mm, you're a bushman? They told me my grandfather is from those people, the bush. The bush is a bushman? Yes. You hear the, the year 1926? Yes, prophet. The man was bushman? Yes. He was dangerous in the sea. Yes, prophet. The man looked in the future before he died. Yes. And he saw you. And he went to the bush, he did the charm, the ash, and he said, this is the boy who is going to take after me. That's why <laughs> you don't understand yourself. Very true. Women, even women. Yes, prophet. They don't understand you. Yes. Today you are A, tomorrow you are B, the other day. Yes, prophet. You can tell people, I dreamt there was a funeral by the road. By the road, I didn't know, but I saw the funeral by the road. Yes, and sometimes I just decide to keep quiet. I... Thank you, Jesus. I'm back. Now we can talk about who to marry, how to marry. Bushman don't marry. Yes, prophet. Bushman can marry any woman. They can impregnate anyone. And they allow it. That is how they let the blood to spread. Yes, prophet. That's why your love life was like this. Yes, because in my love life, most of them, they just, out of nowhere, they will just tell me, let us break it, it won't work. Not that we, we fought or quarrel. Congratulations, welcome. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. So, when they ask you, why do you untie this cult? Tell them, the, the Lord, Lord needs it. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Good morning, church. The grace of God is sufficient for you. My name is Boluka Muituleji, all the way from Lokabe. I'm here to confirm the prophecy which I received from the man of God. On March this year, I received a prophecy. The man of God told me that I was destined to be a, a witch doctor. That day was a man who went to the bush and did some charms so that I may take over from him. I want to confirm the, the prophecy to be true. After receiving the prophecy, I went to my I called my father to ask him about the, the Bushman. He said, 1926, he was not born. It's only his father who was born in 1920. So he told me, our relatives, most of our relatives are at Hukunti, but they originate from Zutwa, where the Bushmen, most of them, they stay at Zutwa. He continued to say that there was a traditional doctors from at Hukunti who were powerful, and he continued to say even at Zutwa there were a lot of traditional doctors, though he did not know them, but he heard that there were some traditional doctors there who were powerful from his mother's side. The man of God was very specific. He said the man was light in complexion, 
similar to your complexion. And he was very powerful in these things of witchcraft, witch doctor. Tell us, when you were asking your father about your lineage, your descent, what did he say about this very man that the man of God was talking about? Uh, he said most of the people at Zutra, they are white in compl complexion, light in complexion rather. They are light in complexion, most of them. They just look like me the way I am. Though he does not know the traditional doctor, but he heard that there was a tra big traditional doctor whom was called uh, Khalid Pijin. When he tell you that I'm going to be with you, he mean it. If he tell you that today you won't see this right, the sun going down, you won't see it. So the man was very powerful. They used to call him Khalipi Rimi, yes. meaning the sun will not go down before whatever I have said or that I want to accomplish becomes accomplished. Yes. And this person, was he in the lineage of your father or your mother's side? He was in the lineage of my father. But of course, in 1926, this man, before he died, he looked into the future and he saw you, that there is going to be a boy who will be born. And he went to the bush and he prepared some charms together with ashes. And he said, the very boy referring to you that is yet to come, he's the one who's going to take after me. As you were growing up, what is it that you realized or you noticed about your life that suggested that this spirit of a witch doctor is with you? As I was growing up, I, I real, in my dreams, the dreams which I, I grow up dreaming, I, most of the time I'll see myself in the bush, just watching the bush, not, doing, not knowing where I'm going, not knowing what I'm doing in the bush. I'll be just there till I wake up. When I wake up, I'll ask myself where I was, I don't know, for a long time, till I come to this ministry. I, I think it's three times I saw myself in the, on top of the mountains. All these mountains, I don't know where they are, even up to date. And I'll be just walking on top of those mountains, doing nothing just roaming around the mountains, not doing, not doing anything. Not that I'm looking for anything, but I'll just find myself self, self there. Or I'll see myself in the bush, the bush where you can't even see an animal or anything there, but I'll see myself in the bush. And this is something that you often see time and again every year without fail. Yes, this is something that I saw almost every year, every month, every week, there was no, I was always having those dreams. But of course, because of this spirit, you don't understand yourself. Even women, when you date them, they don't understand you. Sometimes you are another person, the other day you change, it was just confusion, people could not understand you. What was happening generally in your life? Yes, there was a time I sat down and I was asking myself, why am I living? I don't have a plot. I don't have a child. I don't have anything. Does, I was asking myself, just asking myself, in the relationships, I was dated, the other woman we stayed for, I think, five years. In these five years, she will always tell me, I don't understand you, even me. I won't understand me. Or during the relationship, there will, something will tell me, to stop this relationship. And that voice will be so much that I have to, to stop relationship, whether I like it or not. And at the end, the relationship will just go like that. For I think the relationships which were promising. And these people, before they told me this, it will be by the time when I want now to take the relationship serious, whereby I will introduce them to my parents or relatives. Before I told them, she will come and tell me, I think it is now over. And me too, I will just say yes, without even asking questions, why are you doing this? Why, what have happened? There will be no quarrels. I'll just find myself losing the relationships or I'll hear that voice telling me that I must stop 
this relationship. And now it will be difficult for me because I have to explain to the person that why I want to quit the relationship. So it will just go like that. Why did the man of God say, even yourself, you don't understand yourself? Yes, that's the question that I, even myself, I was asking myself, Kati, why are things like this? But there was no answer. I didn't, I didn't, I've never came up with an answer why things are like the way they were. And how did this affect your financial life, your health life? My health was, uh, growing up, my grandmother told me that while I was still young, I used to be sick whereby she would take me to different doctors for a long time, even up until I started schooling in primary. I'll have different sicknesses, sometimes it's the muscles, sometimes the stomach, but she will take me to the hospital, to the traditional doctors. The only time she took me to the hospital was when I have an injury on my private pass. That's when she took me to the hospital and I was hospitalized. After that healing, now I started having problems with my ears for a long time till I came here in 2017, that's when I don't know how I was healed, but I just saw that the ear is no longer painful. A problem that took you from traditional doctors to medical practitioners, they could not find any solution. Just by coming to this, present, to this place, you were healed and you don't even know how the healing came about. You only realize that you are healed. The ear is no longer painful and is functioning well. Is that what you are saying? Yes, the, the pain which took me for a long time by just coming here, I don't know which year, but I, I realized in 2019 that this... Even to here, it was a problem because for if you talk to me while you are far away from me, I, will, I wouldn't hear you. But after coming here, I only realized when I was here that I can now hear somebody who is talking from far. And your financial life, how was it affected by this spirit? My financial life, it was zero. Uh, I started working in 2010, but for me to buy myself finishes. I started when, after I had a dream. As I was in, in the dream, I was in the bush, I was just working, I was dirty. You were dirty in I that dream? I was dirty in the bush, uh, I was alone. As I was in the bush, I saw Sina Prophet T. Joshua coming to me. He put me with his hand till we arrived here in church. Then he took you by the hand and he brought you to this very church. Yes, to this very church. That was 2019. Let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ. <laughs> After that, that, that's when I see, started buying myself furniture in the house. I started buying myself clothes. Before it was difficult. It was difficult that people will come inside my room and ask me, how long have you been waiting? I'll tell you, five years there are no. It's like you just you were just employed yesterday. As the man of God was talking to me, I it was like I was alone in the overflow. I was at section eight that side. It was like I was alone there with him, the two of us. I couldn't see people those who were there. As he continued talking to me, I, I only saw myself on the floor. I don't know when he stretched his hand. It was like he's pulling me from something which had been holding me. <laughs> About the dreams of me dreaming dead people, I had it uh, several times, more starting from last year till March of before deliverance, whereby I'll see the, the someone is late from my family or just in the in the village, maybe three months before she passed on or he passed on, and I'll tell people that I saw this is what I saw in the dream, but when time goes on, I. Stop telling them, because I realized that this, this dreams, 
they are coming to pass now. It's like people, they will say, I'm a witch now. That's why I stopped it, telling them that even in the dream, I'll know the person who will phone me to tell me that someone has passed away. That's how it was. So now after prayer, do you still experience those dreams? No, I never experienced those dreams. Nowadays, I just hear funerals just like anyone. Let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Immediately after setting you free, he says, you are back, you are free. Now you can talk about who to marry, how to marry, congratulations. Do you still see yourself roaming in the mountains, in the bushes? I never saw myself in the bushes. I never saw myself in the mountains. The, it was last month where I saw myself in the bushes. That was in the in the in the bushes. I was running, running, running. As I was running, I saw some people, they were standing there, and I asked them, where is this road going? Going? They told me, no, this road is going to the bush far. And then I said, no, 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 I'm not going there. Then I wake up. Let us glorify Jesus Christ. Now, what is your belief since you have been set free, especially regarding your well-being, regarding your financial life, regarding your prospects of getting married? Uh, hope has been born because uh, as I was going through this, now hope it was like I was just living, living, for just living, why, I don't know. But after the prayer now, I have hope that do things they will come to pass. There are many here say, who have been going through challenges. They don't know what is the cause of their predicament. What can be your word of encouragement to them? I want to encourage them to be patient. I started coming here in 2017 and those dreams they were tormenting me, but I never sit and say, why is God not delivering me? I continue to persevere up until the day the Lord has made. Of course, all of us here, each and every one of us, God has the day that he has made that he will see you through at his due time. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs>